Steam is the most popular digital storefront for PC gaming. Steam software is usually very reliable, but users do run into errors from time to time. For example, the Steam error code 105 pops up when the Steam client is having trouble connecting to the server. When error code 105 gets in the way of your online shopping or gaming time, here are some things you can try to resolve the problem. The message accompanying error code 105 is unable to connect to server, which tells you the Steam client software is trying to request information from the server and there aren't any answers coming back. I'm going to assume that you're getting this error in Steam only. If you also aren't able to use other internet-based services, then this isn't a Steam-specific problem. In that case, you'd be better off with some general internet connection troubleshooting. The first thing to do is to check if Steam is down. What if Steam servers are actually not working? Don't always assume that the problem is on your end. Even a mega service like Steam will suffer downtime, not to mention the many different internet components that could be having issues between your home connection and Steam servers. A great place to quickly check if Steam is down for everyone or just you is Steamstat. It's not officially affiliated with Valve or Steam, but it works well nonetheless. If it shows that Steam is having issues for everyone, all you can do is to wait for the problem to be fixed. If Steam isn't down, the next thing you should do is to restart your router. A router is just a specialized computer, which means that it can go wrong in weirdly specific ways from time to time. Your first step in hitting a server connection error, like error code 105, is to turn your router off, wait a minute, and then turn it back on again. It's amazing how many connection problems this solves. If resetting your router doesn't do the trick, you should try flushing your DNS. The DNS or domain name system helps your web browser find the IP addresses of servers registered to specific web addresses. It's the same as looking up a person's phone number using their name and a phone book. Your computer keeps a cache of website addresses and their related IP addresses, so you don't have to wait for a DNS server every time you visit your regular sites. Unfortunately, that cache can become outdated or corrupted, occasionally causing connection errors. To clear out your DNS, check out how to clear DNS cache on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS in the description below. So you flush the cache, but you're still getting the 105 error. If Steam cannot contact its servers because your current DNS service can't resolve the correct IP address, it can also cause Steam error code 105. You may want to try changing your DNS service to something else entirely. Google's public DNS service found at 8.8.8.8 .8 or 8.8.4.4 are a fast, popular, and reliable choice. You should also check your firewall. Your operating system should have added Steam's client to the list of exceptions on the built-in firewall when you first installed it, but it might have been removed from that list for various reasons. Regardless of why it happened, you should check your firewall exceptions to make sure Steam isn't blocked. You should also disable any VPNs or proxy servers. A VPN or virtual private network creates a private network tunnel between your computer and the web. It hides your actual location and prevents third parties from spying on your network traffic. Unfortunately, VPNs are also explicitly forbidden by the Steam Terms of Service. If you have an active VPN, switch it off and see if your Steam error is resolved. If your VPN supports split tunneling, add Steam to its exceptions. Likewise, using a proxy server could also be an issue. Try connecting directly to the internet without using a proxy server to see if that resolves your 105 error. You can also try disabling any ad blockers you have running. Ad blockers are popular since invasive advertising on the web can be overwhelming and even a source of malware. But in some cases, ad blockers can interfere with Steam. Try disabling or uninstalling your ad blocker to check if it's the reason Steam's giving you the 105 error. If none of this works, you can try to clear the Steam web browser cache. Steam uses its built-in web browser to retrieve and display content. Like any browser, it has its own content cache. It's not as efficient at managing this cache compared to browsers like Chrome or Firefox. Manually cleaning out the cache seems to be the solution for many users running into server errors like Steam error code 105. Here's how to clean it out. First, open Steam. Then select Steam, Settings. Under the web browser section, select Delete web browser cache. When asked to confirm, select OK. You'll get no further indication that Steam has cleared the cache, 
simply close the settings menu and try using Steam again. Finally, if all else fails, download the latest Steam installer using your browser and reinstall the latest version of Steam. See you next time.